the choice has been made. Necromancer is going to be my number one hardcore character. It might even be the number one hardcore character. In the first 25 levels, it's absolutely mental to play. Not only has it great damage output, your skeletons protect you. You have vast build variety because you can turn off your skeletons if you want. Corpse Explosion doesn't cost essence. And with the right build, Corpse Explosion even replenishes essence. Plus, you can create masses of corpses. This it's absolutely crazy how overpowered the Necromancer feels left, right, beyond, and everywhere. Let me kind of walk you through what the Necromancer can do and how I plan to do my hardcore journey here on YouTube. First, the coolest thing, Book of the Dead. You have Skeletal Warriors, Skeletal Mages, and Golems, but you can also decide what you want to have. Do you want to have Skirmishers here, Defenders, or Reapers? Should they do every eight seconds, they avoid big damage, a stun, or you can summon one more. Alternatively, you could also choose to abandon using your creatures. So instead of using them, your critical strike chance is increased by 5%, but you can no longer use them. You gain 15% non-physical resistance, or you deal 10% increased shadow damage, but can no longer raise scale to warriors. Same goes for mages, which is actually interesting. You can raise your maximum essence, which works with a certain essence damage build, or you deal 15% more damage against vulnerable enemies. So as you see, you don't have to focus on them, and it keeps also skill points free. Because as you play skeletons, you want to have skeletal warrior mastery, increase the damage of life of your skeletal warriors by 45%, and the same goes for mages, which is going to eat six skill slots already. Now, the very good thing about the mages, though, is they're insane. For example, the Frost Mages, each time your Cold Mages damage enemy with their primary attack, you gain two Essence. Now, I do already have an item, the Vicious Ages, which actually gives me two more Mages. That means 10 Essence per hit of them. Versus boss fights, I just never run out. Plus, my Corpse Explosions give me bonus Essence as well. I can just spam my main damage skill like there is no tomorrow. Just to give you a taste of what I'm doing now, I use Bone Spear, which goes through people, breaks into parts, and then comes back, does more. I do Corpse Explosion to just get my Essence back up. Then I can also replenish my Skeletons if I feel like, but you notice how my Essence Bubble is never going down. Again, my Spear just does crazy damages, and if I need Corpses, I can use my left click skill to actually create more Corpses, but as you see, there's kind of like an abundance of Corpses always around here. For the boss fight, that looks a bit different, but... So it's Bone Spear spam until I'm out of Essence, then left click to get more, explode Corpses to get more, or even heal your Skeletons to get more Essence, because every single time time you interact with a corpse you get bonus essence with the right skill now you get that little boss here so again make it empty start sucking his soul out and while i'm sucking his soul out i'm actually creating more corpses while i'm not taking damage because i'm also having fortify running to keep me healthy and alive now that's not the only way you can go but it's the way i've chosen so far you also have the chance to go for blood magic to create blood orbs i've been trying the bone splinters as well back here with blood surge you have a nice aoe explosion just absolutely Absolutely damaging everyone left and right while sucking HP from them. Super cool. Let me walk you through what I've been doing with my first 23 skill points. I want to make corpses and you have two choices for that. First, decompose. Does seven damage is a channel spell and every two and a half seconds you actually make a corpse that you can use. Also, decompose makes the damage of your enemy minions increase by 10%. So while you're decomposing someone, that your minions actually vastly deal more damage. Now you could also go for Reeb. And then go for Acolyte's Reap. Every five seconds you make a corpse. Realistically, I found that Decompose with a 10% damage boost is really nice. Because you already have nine skeletons and not even a golem. And that's 10% damage increase for every single one of them. Now, as a follow-up, I choose Bone Spear. Because Bone Spear is just huge damage and it goes through everything. So not like a Chain Lightning, it doesn't have limits. There's 20 enemies in a row, it goes through 20 enemies. Obviously, if they're slightly tilted and whatsoever, you can't go through them. But for that, you have Bone Splinters, which with a bone Bone Spear just goes through, explodes, comes back, does even more damage. Now, alternatively, you could go for the Blight Route. Blight is an orb you throw out that makes a pool of Blight below your opponent, and it slows, and your minions deal 15% increased damage to enemies in the Blight Pool, which kind of works against bosses, but if they are not, like, staying on one spot, eh. So I tend to go for one point on Bone Spear, then Enhance Bone Spear, and also Supernatural Bone Spear, because it makes the first enemy hit vulnerable. It's not a chance, it makes it vulnerable. And that's 20% increased damage. So 10% up here, 20% here, straight away. Now, obviously, Skeletal Warrior Mastery. Increase the damage and life of your Skeletal Warriors by 15%, but you also want to have one point in Corpse Explosion, because 
Corpse Explosion is for free. Now I have an item with two points already in it, so that's nice. But we're going to do three here. Most important skill to look at is Grim Harvest. Consuming a corpse generates three essence. Consuming is using Corpse Explosion or using your Skeletal Summon buff to essentially get the Skeletal Priest out and heal your skeletons. That also gives you more essence. Also, you would deal 4% more damage for four seconds after consuming a corpse, which can be raised to 12% later on if we have enough skill points. Now, for corpse explosions bonus skills, you can increase the radius, and you can also do 10% increased damage to vulnerable and stunned enemies. I want to take this, but I don't have the points as of right now. First, you want to definitely go for the bonus essence, and as we reach down here, you also can increase your skeletal mage mastery. So, increase the damage and life of your skeletal mages. Yes, please do that and now we have the points here for more grim harvest to get that up we reach down here and like we have corpse tendrils which can pull enemies in and stun you have the bone spirit which is a nice explosion but not really useful there is some cool bone skills here to increase if you're playing with critical strike and other shenanigans and to even make your life leeching skills stronger plus when a corpse is formed from your skills or your minions fortify for two percent base life which really works nicely out to give you a bonus shielding effect before we do that though we have three points in here we could just take the four percent damage increase because we'll just get flat four percent more damage whenever we interact with a corpse that's kind of nice but we also want to have the bone spear up to one three four five so we get that up to five now doing absolutely mental damage that leaves us two points left over and these two points left over will obviously get us down here into the ultimate space but with the army of dead you call force the deep buried dead volatile skeletons emerge over the next seven seconds that explode very cool probably going to go for bone storm a swelling storm of bones appears around you and your golem dealing 470 damage to surrounding enemies which can also be your damage reduction is increased while bone storm is active plus your critical strike is increased while bone storm is active seems kind of nice might also go for blood wave because it knocks big kind of enemies and it could create blood orb that actually heal you but this tier down here is where we also just make our minions stronger every five seconds your skeletal priests healing will heal your skeletons for 20 percent of their maximum life or your minions cannot lose more than 75 percent of their maximum life from a single damage instance which is great plus after you've been healthy for at least four seconds you and your minions gain four percent attack speed awesome your minions deal 10 percent increased damage while you're close to them no problem we can do that especially with the army of skeletal mages that we're going for now with the two points we've left over Probably just going to take fuel by death damage increase when we explode corpses. As you have seen, we explode corpses. Or you would just go for corpse explosion radius increased and then plagued corpse explosion to just do 10% increased damage to vulnerable as we always have our opponents vulnerable with a supernatural bone spear. And that's just the start of it with 25 points to come, 26, 27 in the beta. Later down here, if we could actually finally reach the mastery stage, after you've not taken damage in the last three seconds, your minions gain 15% attack speed. While you have at least seven minions, your bonus is stumbled. Well, I have nine. Now, the only sad thing about the Necromancer is he's kind of missing these cool enchantments. I mean, yeah, cool. I have the Book of the Dead, right? But I'm missing like these funny enchantments. I'm still going to get a gigantic golem, which is cool. And the golem sheds corpses as it takes damage. So keep in mind, when you have the golem, it runs around, takes damage, corpses fall out of it so you can then actually explode more to get more essence to get more damage boost to do more damage you notice where i'm actually not going to be using decompose very much most of the time because i already do this but having that point in decompose is already useful to just increase the damage of everyone so if i might once in a while be out of essence i could just hardcore increase the damage of all my minions Now you might notice why I actually like Necromancer so much. Dude seems absolutely brutal and fairly, frankly spoken, just quite insane. And will 100% fuel my hardcore journey. How's the hardcore journey going to work out? Probably we're going to be playing softcore on Twitch. And then our hardcore is always on YouTube. In the first weeks of release, there's going to be like probably straight up a lot of streams and a lot of videos. 
but then we're going to make it like a weekly or bi-weekly event where it's happening twice per week or once per week where you know always on Thursday is the hardcore gameplay. Now if you're looking more for Sorceress, there's a Sorceress 1 to 25 guide and also a live stream if you want to check out more of how I enjoyed my Necromancer from 1 to 20 so far in under three hours.